right, everyone, shake it off. Shake it off, everyone. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let me see. Thumbs up, thumbs down in the chat. How many of you guys remember how to rotate images? We were doing anti-clockwise on Monday. There will be household games. There will be Inati. Just hold on. Okay, if, if we do get the time to do it. Okay, I'm getting a lot of thumbs up. Somebody said thumbs down. Akumzi said thumbs down. Okay, Akumzi, we will address that just now. Dine is like, I only know 180 degrees. We did something else before we did 180 degrees, Dine. <laughs> we did 90 degrees anti-clockwise, and we're going to be addressing that now. Now, Tinasha, I understand that you're joining us for the first time today, and this is actually lesson six out of six. So we've had five lessons before this one, and everything that we've done so far um, is leading up to this moment. So, um, so just make sure that you're trying to follow. If you can't, I really encourage you to go and have a look at the other videos that we did before this, because we're using a coordinate system. And uh, unless you've had practice, it might be a little bit difficult for you to grasp. Okay. All right. So we're going to do a quick example of the 90 degrees anti-clockwise. And remember, guys, we are rotating from the origin. We're rotating from the origin. And as we're rotating from here, imagine this is our hook and it's put into the ground. And then there's a chain, there's a chain. And on the end of the chain, there's a little bully key. Okay. And what we want to do now is we want to transfer this little ball 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So we want to move this this way over there and make sure that it's 90 degrees. Oh, guys, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for saying welcome to our new Watobian. I didn't quite get her name. Here's a, her name. Uh, Lyungo Musawa. I hope I'm saying that correctly. If you can help me with that so that I'm... <laughs> so that I can say that properly. Okay, guys, so focus, focus. Let's all bring it back. Let's all bring it back. Sure. All right, guys. So we're going to be rotating 90 degrees anti-clockwise first. So I'm going to draw a triangle. This is A. This is B. And this is C. Now, for those of you who know how to do this coordinates, give me the coordinates for A, B, and C in the chat, please. Let's go for it now. Okay. Now, for those of you who are brand new, I'm going to show you how we do this. Okay. So we want to find out what A is. And when we write our coordinates, we always write our X value first and our Y value second. Okay. And we figure this out, this X value and this Y value by looking at this line. This line is where X is. And this line over here, this is where Y is. So the reason why everyone in the chat is writing three and two is because if I look at my A, let me write my A to the side so that it doesn't block anything. And I go down like this to this X line over here. I'm going to see that my first number over here is three. So my first number is going to be three. And then I'm going to take this A to my Y line over here. And I'm going to find that my Y value is two. And that's how everyone is getting three and two. Now for B, if we look at B, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to take this, bring it all the way down to our X line. And we're going to find that our first value is six. Okay. And if we take it all the way to our Y line, we're going to find that our Y value is seven. Okay. And that's how we write the coordinates. We're going to do the same thing for C and we'll find that C is Okay, C is, thank you guys. I'm seeing your answers in the chat. Nice. So 90 degrees means the shape moves forward or does a front flip. No, not a front flip. We're just moving it 90 degrees, either anti-clockwise or clockwise. Okay, it took in Monde, Caleb, Imi, you guys, Hermione, you guys have all got the correct answer for me for C. Thank you very much. Okay, so my value for C is going to be 10 and four, and I just want to 
erase all this other refract because we're really gonna have to concentrate on just what we need here. Okay. All right, so remember guys. Oh my goodness, Mujalifa, um, do you wanna maybe leave the class and come back in and see if that helps? Okay. All right, so when we want to, and you guys are like way too fast, Rolivua and Inati have already just like translated A for me. <laughs> now, we, if we want to rotate this anti-clockwise, we're going to have to take our X values and our Y values, swap them around, oh, put them that way. So I'm gonna have two and three, and then my Y value is going to become negative. So I'll have negative two and three. Well done, guys. And then everybody's just like, oh, no, Rolivua and Inati beat us. Now they wanna give me the values for B. <laughs> Excellent, guys. So we're gonna take seven and six, six and seven, swap them around. So I'm gonna have seven and six, and that's gonna give me negative seven and six because my Y value needs to be negative. No problem, Kanye, welcome, welcome. All right, let's look at C. C prime is going to give me, I'm gonna switch my X and Y around. I'm gonna get four and 10, and then my Y value is gonna be negative. So I'm gonna get negative four and 10. Now, if I plot these, I'm gonna go here, negative two and three, there's A prime. And then I'm gonna get negative seven and six up here, and that's B prime and negative four and 10 all the way up there, negative four and 10, and that's C prime. Okay, now if I draw my shape like that, and there we go. True, Inati, you guys are very smart. You guys are incredible. All right, so that's what my translation looks like. So that means if my hook is over here, and I take my chain and I put it over here at A. If I translate this all the way, or I rotate it to A prime, this angle over here that creates, that this creates over here is a 90 degree angle. All right, thumbs up, thumbs down. How are we feeling about rotating 90 degrees anti-clockwise? Excellent. I'm sure the P was missing there, um, Janae, but I see you. It is thumbs up, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that, um, Tehila. I know what it's like sometimes. Oh no, Mujalifa. Sure, okay. Kerry, do you have a question or? Okay, no question. Kerry just went. All right, now we're going to learn how to rotate in the opposite direction. Now, I just wanna write down my values for A, B, and C again. Okay. It's again, remember we're answering once, just once in the chat for me, please, my sweetie. Okay. All right. I'm going to give you new values for A, B, and C. There we go. And instead of rotating 880 degrees, we are going to rotate this 90 degrees clockwise. Clockwise. And that tells me that my rule is gonna say, you're gonna take my X and Y. Oh no. Teacher Kat, can you help Mujalifa? He's having quite, quite a difficult time there. And here's what's gonna happen this time. I'm gonna flip them around, Y and X. And this time, instead of my Y being negative, I'm going to get my X being negative. Do you guys see how easy this is? Chump change, very easy. Now, just as Caleb has done, guys, please give me my values for a, B, and C. Thank you, Danae. I see your answer. I see your answer. Please give me my values for A, B, and C, guys. My coordinates. Caleb, where are you getting the negatives? You guys are already giving me the answers. Oh my goodness, I haven't even gotten the, <laughs> the coordinates yet. I haven't gotten the coordinates yet and you guys are already giving me the answers. Okay, so my A, thank you, Monde, is two and three and you guys have already rotated it. Ooh, you guys are fast. Uh, yes, five and eight is right. Yes, Nkaniso, good. And then my B is five and eight, as Nkaniso says, and my C value is going to be 10 and five. Now, Caleb, I want you to put your hand up, please, for me and tell me how you got your Y and your your A prime and your B prime, please. And your C prime. Mm. 
These are pretty easy though, guys. No volunteers. Oh, there's Caleb. I was about to say, <gasps> what happened? All right, Caleb, tell us for the first one, what did you do? Unmute for me. How did we do? Hello, yeah, Caleb. Yes. So what the is the A prime? Yes. Negative three, um, comma two. Good. And semicolon and two. How did you get to this answer, Caleb? You first had to write the negative three first. Okay. But why did you get negative three and two? What did you do to A? What did you do to the numbers in A? I anti clockwise. Good. Well, you swap them around, right? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. And remember, it's not anti clockwise anymore. It's now clockwise. We're going clockwise. Okay. Oh, clockwise. Yeah. So we swap them around and then we make our X negative. So that negative three there should not be there. Where should it be? Where should my negative be? Check out my rule. Check out what my rule says. Y and negative X. So which okay. one should be? So which one should be negative this time? The three or the two? The two. Good, the two. So my, my numbers are actually going to be three and? Two. Not just two? Negative two. Good, negative two. Well done, Caleb. Okay, be careful. Okay. Yes. Excellent stuff. Try, try the others as well. Make sure you didn't make the same mistakes. Okay. Okay, man. All right. Okay. Good. The Y stays the same. It's just that it switches over. Okay, Roli Bua, next one. Or do you have a question, my sweetie? Or do you want to do B no, prime? For I, what is B prime? Yeah, B prime. Yes. Um, eight. Good. Semicolon, negative Excellent. five. Excellent, negative five. Good. Okay, just remember now the X is going to be negative and my Y will be positive. So other way around. Very well done, Roli Bua. Okay. All right, I'm going to do C quickly. And it's okay. You are on the money. Well done. Maya, give me, give me. And then I mute myself. Goodness. All right. So my values for C prime are going to be, I'm going to switch around my 10 and my 5. And then my X value is going to be negative. So 5 and negative 10. Okay. That's okay, Jaden. We know exactly what you meant. Well done. All right. So if I plot this now. I'm going to get my A prime at three and negative two down here. B is going to be at eight and negative five over here. So this is A prime. This is B prime. And my C is going to be at five and negative 10. Let me just move down a little bit. There we go. Five and negative 10. C prime. See, guys, I'm getting so much better at this drawing stuff. Now my lines look my lines look a little bit better than they used to. Okay, there it is. That's okay, Maya. That's okay, my sweetie. There's many more to come. Okay, so now if this is my hook over here and it goes all the way to A, if I move my chain to A prime, this is going to be 90 degrees. Okay, hands up, thumbs up, thumbs down. How are we feeling about this? Thumbs up, thumbs down, guys. I keep saying hands up instead of thumbs up. I don't know what's gotten into me. <laughs> Excellent. I'm getting a lot of thumbs up in the chat. Awesome stuff. Hi, Ilanda and Gareth. And Buche and Nushevo. <laughs> I know Hermione. Excellent, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Did I write C on the wrong line? Um. Or did you write C on the wrong line? I'm not sure. Okay, Nosipo says she's in between. Th that's fine if you're in between because those of you who are still in between, we're gonna be going with teacher Kat into the breakout room so that she can explain a little bit more. Okay, C on the arrow. Okay, uh, I think, I don't know guys if I'm wrong or if you guys are wrong, but I think I did my C correctly. Oh, no, I didn't. Yes, 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 guys, you're correct. You're 100% correct. I didn't even notice. 
This should have been five and 10. Oh my gosh. <gasps> guys, we did a whole question and nobody saw it. I was testing you guys. You all failed. Everyone except in Danae. <laughs> Everyone except in Danae. Danae, you're the only one who passed. Nobody else saw it. <laughs> including me i didn't see it myself so i also failed guys <laughs> okay well done well done for for catching that uh today thank you for that for letting us know all right okay let, <laughs> let's do the last one guys all right my last rule is going to be us we're going to rotate okay we're going to rotate 180 degrees and our rule says if i've got x and why I'm going to rotate this 180 degrees. And what's going to happen is I'm still going to have X and Y. The only difference now is that both my X and my Y are going to be negative. Okay, we're not going to switch them around. We're not going to switch them around this time. They're just going to be um, negative X and negative Y. Okay, but I want to make it a little bit interesting. Yeah. Let's make it a little interesting. Yeah, eh. my drawings are, there we go. That is A and B, C, D, E. All right, guys, give me the values. Okay. My drawings are getting better. They're getting better, Lusheva. What, what, what happened? What happened? I'm getting so much better. <laughs> it, it's supposed to be a pentagon, Patiso. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Tahila, I, I did it terribly. <laughs> okay, all right, guys. <laughs> Let's I won't even say anything. Activity. I can't write age on this thing. So I will shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, teacher cat, at least I'm doing better than some people. <laughs> okay. Ola, do we have a question, Masidi? <laughs> Uh, no, Miss. I thought that you were meant to like answer, like raise yes, your hand. No, right? absolutely. Okay. Do, do you want to do A for me? Can you give me the coordinates yes. for A and the translation? What is the coordinates for A? Um. So the coordinates for A is two, but you said you must put the negative sign, so it's going to be minus two, minus three. No, minus two. Okay, remember, 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 Ola, we need to put our x coordinate and then our y coordinate. So, what is my x coordinate here? Oh, um, negative six. Good, negative six first. And then, what is my y value? Uh, y value is two. Good, is two. And then, when we translate it to a prime, what's going to happen to my x value? It's going to become negative, right? X value. Yes, my negative six. Okay. It's going to become negative. So what I'm actually going to get, Ola, is I'm going to get minus negative six. And what does a minus and a minus give me, Ola? Uh, minus and a minus gives you plus. Good. So my, my six will no longer be minus. It will be? Positive plus. six. Good. Positive six. Excellent. So I'm going to have positive six. And then what's going to happen to this two over here? My y value for two, it'll become? Negative two. Excellent. Very well done, my dude. So Easy do you stuff. do it like vice versa? You, you, yes, you flip literally around. You, you just switch the signs. You just change Okay, the thank you. Excellent, well done. All right, Amu, do you want to do the next one with me? Mm, All right, I this I one looks like she's on a game. This one for me one second. Okay. All right. Amu, are we ready? Can you give me the coordinates for B, please? Yes, ma'am. Yes. What are my coordinates for B? So your Y coordinate is going to be negative oh, three and A. X, Stop X is going to be negative nine. Good, and then? And the y is negative three. 
Excellent, good. Now, if I have to rotate this B prime, what is my X value going to be? To B prime, my negative, uh, I'm going to swap it around, eh? Mm -hmm. So and then we're it's not going swapping, to- We're just changing the sign. So what are we going to get? A uh, negative plus a negative is a positive. So it's going good. to be nine. Good, positive nine and? Negative three. Oh, no, check my, my three is already negative. So if I put a negative, negative three, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna get up. Mm. So I'm gonna have negative minus three. What's gonna happen to the negative and the negative, Amu? You're going to have to put it in a bracket. Mm -hmm. And what is a negative and a negative gonna give me? A positive. Good, so what, what is my Y value gonna be here? It's going to be uh, three. Good, positive three, yes? Okay, good stuff, positive three. Okay, I hope you guys see that. We, we're gonna do a couple more of these. Monde, do you want to do C for me? Yes. All right, excellent. Give me the coordinates for C, please. It is negative four. Good, and? And negative five. Excellent, negative four and negative five, and now I'm cramming this in. All right, C prime, what am I gonna get for C prime? Positive four. Good, positive four, and? Positive five. Excellent. Okay, good. Because the negatives and the negatives together all are going to give us positive answers. Yes? Yes, ma'am. Excellent. Well done. Well done, Monde. Very well done. All right, Roli Bua, next one. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's do D together. What are my coordinates? It is one, positive good. one. And? And negative three. Excellent, positive one and negative three. And what is my D prime going to be? It's going to be negative one and positive three. Well done, excellent. Well done, amazing stuff. Okay, Buche, let's do E together. Let's do E together, Buche. Hi, Buche. Oh, hi, ma'am. Hello. Uh, Give me my coordinates for E, my sweetie. For E prime, it is two and minus three. Ooh, why minus three, though? Let's have a look. Oh, Let's have a look. If I look here, my E is going to be negative oh, two. Oh, sorry, ma'am. I was looking at D. Uh, okay. and then it's minus two and one and positive Good, minus one. Minus two and one, yes. Now, if I have to translate this, what is my it's E prime going to be? It's going to be positive two and my negative one. Excellent. All right. Well done, Buffet. I thought I lost you there for a second, but I know you got it. Okay. Excellent stuff. All right, guys. So if I translate this, if I draw my new coordinates, I'm gonna get six and negative two, which will be over here. And then nine and three, which will be over here. Four and five over here. Uh, let me see, negative one and three over here. And the last one, two and minus one, which is over here. So there's uh, our new, shape all right well done guys i think i think that was a lot but you guys were following okay hello aziza i see you there now and i'm liking that attitude inati not a good job an amazing job <laughs> and now is like it looks like a tent guys my drawings are getting worse <laughs> they're getting worse all right guys thumbs up thumbs down how are we feeling about rotating 90 degrees anti-clockwise and clockwise and 180. How are we feeling? Denise says he's, he's feeling thumbs up. Okay, excellent. <laughs> oh, I'm glad guys, I'm so glad. All right, um, I was hoping to be done at exactly 6.30, but that didn't quite happen. All right, um, anybody, 
who feels like they're still having issues with understanding the anti-clockwise, the clockwise, and the 180. I need you guys to go into the break room with Teacher Cat. Um, Teacher Courtney, can we get the break, the break room going up? Okay. Anybody who feels like they need a little bit more practice on this, you're more than welcome to to jump into the breakout room and finish up with teacher cat. Okay. Um, but if you're feeling confident about rotating, you're more than welcome to stay. All right. I'm going to give this two minutes. Gonna give you guys. Olwa. If you missed the, the first 45 minutes, everything that we've just done now, we did on Monday as well. Okay. So if you're happy with what we're doing at this moment, then you've missed nothing, my sweetie. You've missed nothing. But if you still want to practice some more, because this is practice for most of everyone in the class, then you can jump into Teacher Cat's um, breakout room and she can help you on that side again. Okay. <laughs> who just came back from the gym really you went to the gym and you didn't feel like my lesson was more important oh dude can't believe me <laughs> i'm loving guys i'm loving the, the fact that you guys are confident <laughs> i'm so glad you guys are confident okay all right i'm going to give it one more minute and then we are going to continue on in this class so if you feel like you want to move to the breakout room Please go there now. I'm, I'm going to close the breakout room and we're going to continue. Hi, Kutra Pomke, how can I help? Teacher, sorry, I think I muted you. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay, Teacher Courtney. All right. I think it's just us left. Okay, I think everyone else is in the room. Okay, um, I'm going to close the tab on my thing. Okay, everyone who's left in this class, I want you guys to tell me from everything that we started with, does anybody remember? Show me hands, who remembers what we started with when we, we did lesson one? Does anyone remember? When we started at the very beginning, we were talking about transformation. Good. Somebody remembered. Who's that? And Danae. Danae remembers. When we started talking about transformation, we were looking at translation. Okay. Yo, guys, I can't believe I've lost you. Translation. Who remembers what translation was? Who can, who can, who's brave enough to put their hand up and remind us what translation was about? Who can remember? Good. etocon has got a good idea. Yes. Ooh, not a mirror and Danae. That's something different. etocon has got the right idea. We were moving shapes. Translation is a move. Okay. Good. It's a move. We're moving from one place to another place. Okay. And for those of you who are asking me, ma'am, it says that we're going to be playing games. Yes, we are. <clears throat> I hope you guys are ready. I heard my neck just crick there a little bit, just like, okay, are we ready? Okay, I'm going to give you guys three options, three options. Wait, where are my notes? Where are my notes? Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, I'm going to give you guys three options. Now, I'm going to ask you guys to fetch either a spoon or a pot lid or a fork. You're going to fetch either one of these things for me, right? And here is the rule, okay? Now, the answer for the spoon is zero and four, negative two and six, and three and negative two. Those are your options, okay? Now, you guys need to tell me, if I started here, if I started here at A, 
if my rule was x, y, okay, okay, and my move said x plus six, y minus six, where did I land? But you cannot just tell me where it landed. You need to get up and go get the thing, switch on your camera and show me what it is that you got. Okay, everyone ready? Are we ready? Set, go. Patisa's already got it. I feel like it was right there in front of her. <laughs> oh, and Mbali's got one as well. Spokuke's got a pot lid. Let me see, what do we have? What have you got? I've got two spoons and a pot lid. I've got, Caleb's got a fork. Buche's got a spoon. Rolihua, what have you got? Let me have a look. Rolihua's got a fork. Ilanda's got a fork. Etikin says he has a fork. <laughs> Monde says, why do we need a pot lid? Oh, that's okay, Jaden. That's okay. Okay, all right. Let's see who's actually correct. Hold on to your item. Hold on to your item. Now, if I started over here at A and I want to get to A prime, let's see which one is A prime. So this says X plus six. My X value right now at A, let me write A, is negative three. And my Y value is four. Okay. Now, if I translate this, negative three plus six, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Six, I can already tell what my X value is, right? And then I have to go six down because it's Y minus six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There is my new translation of A. This is A prime. And my value for A prime is three and negative two. So all of you guys who fetched a fork, you all have one point. You all have one point. Okay, it was actually a fork I was looking for. Do you guys understand the rules of the game? Are we good? <laughs> Inati just took took his mom's potlid while she was while she was cooking. <laughs> oh, guys! All right, thumbs up, thumbs down. Do we understand the rules of the game, guys? Tell me, thumbs up, thumbs down in the chat. Are we okay with it? I'm seeing, okay. Okay. Somebody's still a little confused. Yeah, Leboga's still a little confused. Okay. All right. Explain to me, guys. Okay. New items. New items. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tahila. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay, this, this rule is not going to apply anymore. Okay, now, I'm going to start over here. This is B, okay? Now, you have to fetch either a toothbrush or toothpaste, or you have to fetch a toilet roll. Now, here are your options. X minus one. No, I'm giving you guys the rule, sorry. Okay, let me try that again. Uh, I feel like you guys are gonna cheat. <laughs> okay, negative eight. How do, you, how do you guys already have a toilet roll when there's no answer for toilet roll yet? Okay, <laughs> negative eight and five, okay, negative nine, and two, negative eight, and six, okay. Now, here is the rule. We're going from x, y, all the way to, <laughs> guys, you can't cheat. Do not cheat, do not cheat x minus two and y go oh my goodness guys please 
3 p.m. What are we getting? What are we getting? I'm seeing, Patissa, what do you have there? Toothpaste. Bunolo, what do you have? Bunolo's got a toothbrush. Maya's got toothpaste. Inati has toothpaste. Letogulche's got a toothbrush. Ilanda's got toothbrush. I see toilet rolls being stolen from brothers who are still in the toilet. I'm seeing toothpaste all around. Okay, let's see what it is. All right. So this is where B is at the, at the moment. So now we're going to translate X minus two. That means I'm going to move to the left two times. So I'm going to go one, two. So my new X value is going to be negative nine. And then Y means that I don't move anywhere. So my new value is going to be right over here. This is my new B prime. So my new value for B prime is going to be negative nine and two. So if you went and you fetched toothpaste, well done. You guys got it 100%. Well done. All right. I'm glad we remember how to translate, guys. Phew, what did I just do? All right. Now, who can remind me? What is reflection? Let's talk about reflection. Who remembers? Reflection is the easy one. Good, Indine. It's a mirror. Me too, Jaden. I'm also, I'm also quite shocked that you don't have no shame yet. Okay, good. Reflection is a mirror. Okay. It is a mirror. We're, we're doing something just like a mirror. Okay, so. Good, it's the mirror of an object. Now, we have three more options. Let me just see what my options are over here. Okay. I'm sorry for those of you in the family who are watching TV at the moment, TV remote, mom or dad's phone. If mom or dad are not, are not at home, then fetch brother, big brother or big sister or anybody else's phone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys. Or mom or dad's shoe. Those are your options. Teacher okay. Coco, you're getting everyone in trouble. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry if you get in trouble just tell them it's what Tony's fault, it's what Tony's fault. <laughs> all right here are your options okay which line are we reflecting um from so is it the y-axis am I reflecting the y-axis or the x-axis okay or what I say none or none of the above. Okay, let me know. If my value is over here, okay. <laughs> okay, if my value is over here and I reflect this to that side, okay, go. I want to see what you guys, <laughs> what you guys are going to get. Nosipa, I'm really sorry. Yes, the, the DSTV remote counts in Dine. Violetta, you cannot get the shoe. <laughs> Not yet. Why a shoe? Because you have to go into mom and dad's bedroom to get it. Inati's got a remote. Inati's got a TV remote. Patiswa, what do we have there? Is that mom or dad's phone? Bunolo, what do we have there? Mom or dad's phone. Maya's got mom's shoe. <laughs> Little Greek has got a TV remote. Monday, I cannot see your camera. Caleb, what do we have there? The TV remote. Okay. Buche, what do we have? The dad's shoe. <laughs> I'm seeing TV remotes. TV remotes. And Nosipo's got mom's mom or dad's phone. Okay. All right. Let's have a look, guys. Okay. Now remember with our rules. Okay. If we reflect about the y-axis, right? my x value, my x will stay the same. My x will stay the same and my y will change sign. Right. <laughs> when she wasn't looking. But if I reflect about the x-axis, my y will stay the same. Or am I lying? Am I lying, guys? Yes, I'm lying. It's the other way around. 
if I reflect about the y axis, my y stays the same and my x changes. Shoo. Okay, y is the same and x changes sign, x change, right? And if I reflect about the x axis, my x will stay the same and my y will change. Okay, now let's see which one of these actually happened. If I call this C, my values here are Y, five and two. And if this is C prime, my X value is negative five and two. So over here, my X changed, which means it was my Y axis. Therefore, you should have gotten a TV remote. Those of you who got a TV remote, ah, well done.